Okay, let's draw the pterygopalatine fossa. So the first thing you'll do is draw a triangle like this. And I'm going to draw another one that's bigger than it like this. And this bone right here, which is the maxilla, I'm going to take it and just continue it down like this. Let's kind of make a... a nose here. Just go like this. So then this right here is going to be the orbit. And this is going to be like the cut-off zygomatic bone here that would come across here. I'm just going to draw it like that. And then this is the end of the zygomatic bone here. Okay, so now when you're going to draw the various foramina here inside of the pterygopalatine fossa, they go in this order, and this is what he said. So you've got the, the foramen rotundum is right up here, and then you've got the pterygoid canal, which is going to be inferior to it, and it's also going to be more medial. So this is obviously the side of the face that's out here and the, the lateral, and so this is going to be medial to it slightly, and inferior. And then we're going to have the pharyngeal canal right there. Then up here we're going to have the sphenopalatine foramen, and this right here is going to be our inferior orbital fissure, which is going to come up here into the bottom of the orbit. So if this were like the floor of the orbit here, this is going to jump up back into there. Okay, and then this right here is going to be the descending or greater palatine foramen, or canal rather. So we can just maybe draw a little thing here, make this come down like this. And so this is naturally the, the teeth there. I'm just going to kind of do like almost a Simpsons teeth on there. So those are the maxillary teeth there. Now let's draw all the things that go through here. So this will be my pterygopalatine ganglion. So you're going to have two that come up here through the inferior orbital fissure. One's going to come over here like this, one's going to go like this. So this one right here we're going to say is the zygomatic, which gives rise to two. The, the zygomatic temporal and zygomatico-facial. Okay, this other one is going to come up here and then it's going to go through that little groove, the infraorbital groove, and then it's going to jump down here to, I guess I should have probably made that this way, and this is going through, through the, from the inferior orbital fissure into the inferior orbital groove down here to the inferior orbital foramen, and so this is going to be the, or not inferior, the infraorbital, sorry, the infraorbital nerve. Okay. And then we're going to have this one. So this bone right here is the greater wing of the sphenoid. This right here is the the maxilla and the pterygoid, so this is the pterygomaxillary fissure this, that we're looking through right here. So one of these is going to jump up out of here and it's going to enter into this foramen right here that we didn't really talk about in class. And this is going to come down here, this is the PSA, posterior superior alveolar nerve. So we'll call it PSA. Then you're going to have, going up here through the sphenopalatine foramen, this is the posterior superior nasal nerve. We'll just call it that. And it has several branches off of it, but just going through the sphenopalatine foramen, that's all we're going to do for right now. 
So then up here, this is where, this is the foramen rotundum, and this is going to be where where V2 is coming in at. So here's V1, the ophthalmic branch, and here's V3, mandibular. And this is going to come up here and jump up through the superior orbital fissure. So that here's the inferior orbital fissure, here's the superior orbital fissure up here, and that's where V1 would come in. So this is going to come in through here. And then down here, this is going to come down here to where the, the pharynx area is. So this is the pharyngeal nerve. Okay. And then also right here, if this is if this is the trigeminal nerve, this would be shooting out of the basically out of the pons here, right? Here's the optic chiasm. mammillary bodies and everything. Okay, so if this is where the trigeminal is coming out, now we could also draw the facial nerve coming down here. And after it after it goes through the hiatus of the greater petrosal and all that, it's going to enter over here into this canal right here, which is the pterygoid canal, and come in here into the pterygopalatine fossa and into the pterygopalatine ganglion. And then this is going to send off um, autonomic to each of these places except for it's not going to go back into into the trigeminal. So this is going to jump up here. You have fibers going to each of these various places. Autonomics. To each of those places. So that's basically what all the nerves are of the pterygopalatine fossa. Now, if we wanted to go back and learn what the, the names of the arteries are for each of those, those are pretty easy, and they're, they're named basically for the nerve that runs through them. So through the foramen rotundum, we don't have anything that's coming through there except for V2. So this isn't going to have an artery going through it, and consequently it's not going to have any postganglionic sympathetic fibers, which we know run on the arteries. So then through the pterygoid canal, you're going to have the artery of the pterygoid canal. Then through the, the pharyngeal canal, you're going to have the pharyngeal artery. So that's easy enough to learn. Then you have the, the maxillary artery, which kind of comes up right here and, and ends. So it doesn't really become the maxillary artery while it's in the pterygopalatine fossa, but that's a branch after it comes out through the pterygomaxillary fissure there. And then... Um, Let's see, which did we get all these? We have the oh geez, I forgot a minute ago. We need to throw we need to come down here. So you've got the descending or greater palatine nerves, and these branch into the the greater the greater palatine nerve and the lesser palatine nerves. And then you're also going to have the autonomics coming down these as well. And then this you're also going to have the artery that comes down there, which is the artery or the, the descending artery or greater palatine artery. And then I think that's all of them. So then let's draw what, what comes off shortly after up here. So while you're here inside of the, the pterygoid canal, or the infraorbital canal, I mean, you're going to have two things that jump off of there. You're going to have the ASA, which is going to get the anterior teeth, the anterior superior alveolar nerve. And then you're going to have MSA for the middle superior alveolar nerve. And then already we have PSA back here to get the posterior teeth.